Hello folks. In this video we're going to look at what to do with our data when you have a column that you want to work with that has null values in it and maybe you don't want to pull back those null values. So again when we look over here at our data set, our 30,000 rows, and we come over to column S, we can see that column S has a lot of null values in it. In fact, out of uh, when we look at the fact that we have 30,000 rows here, uh, I'm looking there, and then I click on column S, I have 12,000. So I have 12,000 uh, uh, rows of data that have a null value in S. So what I can do right now, I'm just looking at B, C, S, and Z, and I get my 29,000, my 30,000 rows. And then I want to use this where S is null. And that's going to pull back this data set, and it's going to eliminate all of my rows of data. This is my row column, uh, all my, my column five, my NAICS description. And I'm pulling that back without, uh, uh, um, my query is just pulling back the rows where that's actually null. There's 17,000 of those. And then instead I could use the phrase not null, and then I'm going to pull back and eliminate. Now notice I have 12,585 jobs uh, where this NAICS is not null. If I come here and look at that 12,586, that's including my, my row. So I can tell that that is correct. And now I have a data set where I, if it's important that I'm only working with the data that does not have null values in column S, I can easily do that. So we want to know that we have the, the phrase, the clause is not null or the operator where S is not null. Pretty handy uh, to use in queries when we need to get rid of uh, rows of data that have empty values in them.